Alright, so as I said in my previous one, there's a couple more vibes on this album that I want to try and emulate. So in today's one, I'm going to be making another beat in the start of Drake's new album, For All The Dogs. Okay, we're in FL Studio, of course. I don't really know where to start for this one. The reference tracks I'm going to be using for this beat are a couple more of my favorites, so Virginia Beach and Bahamas Promises. And both tracks are around roughly 120 BPM, so that's what I'm going to go for for this one. And I think normally with these kind of beats, I try and come up with some sort of chord progression first. For this one, I'm going to start with a bass line, so... Why does that sound so familiar? Apart from the small switch up in the last two bars, I think these are pretty much the root notes for My Eyes by Travis Scott. I mean, it makes sense, like I listened to that track on loop. So now I'm gonna lay down a chord progression over that and I'm gonna open up Analog Lab 5. I'm kind of stuck on the last two chords, I'm not gonna lie. I may have fumbled the root notes for this one. Um I kind of like how that sounds. I've also noticed the use of suspended chords here as well in this change. That's a G suspended chord into a G major. And I think a similar technique is actually used on Bahamas Promises, but I'm not too sure. It sounds pretty good, but I'm going to layer it with something else. So I'm going to clone these chords and I'm going to look for another preset to use. Okay, we're definitely getting somewhere. I think I'm going to add an ARP in there somewhere. I mean, it sounds cool, but I think I'm just gonna mute this one for now and then try and add something else. So I recently picked up this plugin again. I haven't used it since I was like 16, 17. Plugins like Arcade, XL, Vocalize as well. I stopped using them for a long time because I found that when I heard them being used commercially in other beats, because I knew where it came from, it almost made me dislike the sound. So I stopped using it in my own production, which makes sense, I guess, because these plugins have a really signature sound. So more time, it's pretty obvious when a producer's using this in a beat. <laughs> Oof, okay. I feel like I'm doing a sponsored segment here. Okay, no, I'm not sponsored. I just think the plugin's pretty cool and I haven't used it in a while, so... I'm gonna clean that up real quick. I'm gonna bounce out those vocals though because Arcade notoriously just kills your PC. And I think I'm gonna leave the melody like that. I'm gonna keep it really simple. And once I've mixed everything, I'm gonna lay down a really simple drum pattern to go along with it, so.
fact, I did say I was gonna keep it simple. Genuinely, like, why does this look like a Coco Melon 808 tutorial? One thing I'm gonna do though before I mix everything down, I remember at the start of Virginia Beach and I think at the end as well, and it uses some orchestral strings. Real quick, I'm gonna open up Arc 1. I think I'm gonna use low string sustain for this. And I'm going to copy the chords into the string part and use those at the beginning of the beat. Sounds cool, I think it needs one more octave below it though. So I'm gonna copy the root notes and then put them an octave down. Much better. All right, now that's done, I'm gonna mix down the whole beat and lay it out and we'll see what it sounds like. I think I've finished mixing and arranging the whole beat now. To be honest, I haven't really added too much. I did include some effects and transitions because I felt like the jump from Reese bass to 808 was a bit too harsh for me. So I've tried to smooth out a little bit. I'm not too sure if it works. I also have included an acapella. I don't think I'm going to play the beat with it though. One, it's because the Frank Ocean vocal sample is still audible within the Drake vocals. There's not really much I can do about that. Like it's really difficult to EQ them out. And two, it's because YouTube and the labels really don't like when I use acapellas. So I'm definitely not playing it on this beat because if I do, I'm going to get double teamed by Drake's label and Frank Ocean's label. So. I think that sounded pretty good. Kind of sounds like I've just taken Bahamas Promises and then blended it with Virginia Beach. It's so painfully obvious that they're arcade vocals and it's really getting to me and I don't know why. It might be because specifically for this album, when I listen to the instrumentals, I really have to think and break down in my head like how they came up with some of these sounds. Whereas I feel like if someone else made this beat and I listened to it, I'd probably like the sound of the instrumental, but I'd be able to pick apart almost every sound used in it. So I feel like it's not as much fun to listen to if I know exactly how it's made. I don't know why, this is just how I'm built. Also, before I forget, I received a comment a while ago about doing some sort of like subscription collaboration video and I think that's a pretty good shout I just don't really know how to go about it probably be like a discord server situation or something like that I don't really want to do like a fixing subscribers beat situation because realistically who am I to fix your beats but I definitely want to do that at some point so if you have any ideas on how to approach that maybe you leave a comment somewhere but once again thank you for watching hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration this video helps you in some way and of course if you enjoyed feel free to like and subscribe so let's listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time